So as I mentioned in the last video, I was going to take the car down to get the body, and sure enough, that's what we're doing today. So we're going to hop in the car, we're going to grab the trailer, we're going to cruise on down, and I'm bringing my neighbors and a few friends down, so we make sure that this body goes on really easy with enough manpower, and there's no mistakes or anything like that, because I remember the last time we were taking the body off, we were kind of struggling a little bit because it was getting hung up here and there, but if we have enough people, it should glide right on, so... Let's give it a shot. Anything that's in the way or something? Yeah, you guys will have to pull it around the door. And just, I don't know yeah, so you want to do that first? Get over that side. See, that was the problem, is everything I was doing, like, I couldn't put it in I have no idea. Yes, See how many of these? Yeah, there's enough. You know, I hope that doesn't, uh, doesn't affect your door gas or anything. Yeah. But as long as we're okay here, and you just settle down back there. I brought all that. Oh. I can't find this is all in closing.
Well, that was a really, really nice, amazing day. Um, everything worked out really well. Uh, I got partially stuff bolted to the firewall. I got to get see if my car is going to bolt in correctly on the side since I put those uh, the carpet and the little things in. And what's interesting is you really do see this panel coming out. I thought this was going to cover the whole thing. And originally I thought it was going to go down too, but it doesn't. But this looks great. Uh, I have no qualms with that. Let's see what it looks like over there. So I think the seat's going to come a little forward compared to where it's at right now. I'm not really sure, but I think so. And uh, it's just, uh, look at that glass, baby. Glass. So car's looking pretty good. Um, we got a few little nuances that we got to fix from like a buffer mistake or something like that. But uh, for the most part, the car's looking excellent. So my biggest thing now is to get this all going. Now, what's funny is when I measured and when I looked and I went back and forth and all that stuff, it was like, oh, there's no room under here to get anything. But I actually have a good hand thickness full of space up there, which might mean I could route my tubes over the top and not underneath like I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to have to see about that. Uh, in fact, it's literally three or four inches more, and especially over in this corner over here, I have like tons of space, which I really didn't think I was going to have at all. I mean, like zero. So that's kind of an eye opener to me. And it's just one of those things that has been tough with the body off and gone for so long that, you know, you make measurements off the firewall and then you go, you know, to the body shop and you make a measurement off of this part and go back and where's this going to line up. And it's just really difficult. So now that it's all here, I could really kind of finalize a few things, make sure it's all good, which, you know, I was even worried about clearing these hoses, but I got, you know, still like another three, four inches. So pretty happy about that, actually. So a lot of decisions to make, a lot of things to do. You can see some of the buffing polish uh, splattered on the inside. Uh, I do, the one thing that we didn't get to do is actually paint black on the whole inside. I wanted to do that before the body was on the car, but body is on the car now <laughs> so that's not an option um but it really doesn't look like that much you know area and i could just really plastic it off and stick some goggles on and a respirator and just go to town in an enclosed area that just you know has that little area and make it all go away or i could hand paint it which now that I think about it, it's somewhat of a viable option. So, you know, just like the back of the, uh, I don't have to do, see if the camera will take this, but I don't have to do this part. I just have to do this part and this part here. But it's really cool. I've never seen the car with the panels fully on. It's actually sealed pretty well. We'll have to measure the distance between here and here to see if the body is actually bolted on in the right spot because we were just, you know, tightening it up so it wouldn't uh, fly off on the highway. And uh, I see that my idea for what I was doing here was great, but some of the stuff needs to be moved up. Um, but we got plenty, plenty of clearance here. So, um, yeah, so all sorts of good stuff. And then I don't know, I should be able to get these panels in and shove them under the body. There's a little bit of give here, you know, where I can move this around. So long as I don't bolt this in, I should be able to, once the seat's out, get that panel in, get these doors adjusted. So, yeah, lots of good stuff happening here. So I could start putting in the, uh, the uh, uh, courtesy light switches get my wiring going. So, 
And, you know, I was thinking this was, you know, like this part was like right here, but it's a little further out. And I got my dash. Let's, let's, probably still has some compound on it. It doesn't look bad here. But I've got the dash here looking pretty good. So we will uh, pop that in the car and get that happening. So, yeah. So, um, man, really, really excited. Really excited. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's looking good. Can't wait to get it finished. Till next time, have a great day. <laughs>